Cette vidéo est consacrée à avoir. Avoir, have, have got, est utilisé pour exprimer la possession, les caractéristiques physiques ou encore les liens de parenté. Voici des exemples. I have got a dog. They have got blue eyes. She has got two brothers. On utilise have en anglais américain et have got en anglais britannique. Have est employé dans des expressions telles que have breakfast, have a cup of tea, have a break, have a shower, have a bath, have a chat, have a bad dream, have a look at something, have a word with someone. Have peut être utilisé comme verbe ou encore comme auxiliaire servant à conjuguer d'autres verbes. Faisons le point tout d'abord sur la forme affirmative. Have got a la forme affirmative. Écoute et répète. I have got. You have got. He has got. She has got. It has got. We have got. You have got. They have got. Il existe une forme contractée plutôt employée à l'oral. Écoutez et répète. I've got. You've got. He's got. She's got. It's got. We've got. You've got. They've got. Voici des exemples. Entraîne-toi à répéter. I have got a mobile phone. You have got two brothers. He has got a cat. She has got long hair. It has got a GPS. We have got a new computer. You have got a fabulous English teacher. They have got a lot of friends. Passons maintenant à la forme négative. Pour la forme négative, on retrouve l'élément not qui porte la négation. Écoutez et répète. I have not got. You have not got. He has not got. She has not got. It has not got. We have not got. You have not got. They have not got. Il existe deux formes contractées. La première contraction porte sur have. Écoutez et répète. I've not got, you've not got, he's not got, she's not got, it's not got, we've not got, you've not got, they've not got. Voici la seconde forme contractée. La contraction porte sur not. Écoutez et répète. I haven't got, you haven't got, he hasn't got, she hasn't got, it hasn't got, we haven't got. You haven't got. They haven't got. Il existe donc deux formes, la forme pleine et la forme contractée. La forme pleine est celle que l'on utilise quand on est à l'écrit. La forme contractée est celle que l'on utilise lorsque l'on parle. On contracte les mots pour parler plus vite. À la forme négative, on utilise très rarement la forme pleine. Voici des exemples alternant les différentes formes. I have not got any money. You haven't got mails. He has not got a horse. She hasn't got ginger hair. It hasn't got Wi-Fi. We've not got a laptop. You have not got punishment. They haven't got any pets. Passons maintenant à la forme interrogative. À la forme interrogative, il y a une inversion du sujet. Écoutez et répète. Have I got? Have you got? Has he got? Has she got? Has it got? Have we got? Have you got? Have they got? Voici des exemples. Entraîne-toi en répétant. Have I got my key? Have you got any brothers and sisters? Has he got any pets? Has she got a mobile phone? Has it got Bluetooth? Have we got time to go to the toilets? Have you got the document? Have they got their IDs? Retrouvez la fiche de grammaire imprimable sur le site de Missy Dubuisson. Maintenant, à toi de jouer grâce à la vidéo d'application. Free
created using Powtoon.